Resuming debate, the Honourable Member for St. John South, Mount Pearl. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I begin this speech on one of the most controversial of Canadian topics, the seal hunt, with one of the country's most controversial commentators, Don Cherry. Now, Don Cherry, who has made his career on and around the ice, recently took a shot at the Newfoundland and Labrador ice industry, our seal hunt. It was a Saturday night earlier this month, Mr. Speaker, hockey night in Canada, and Don Cherry was doing his usual coach's corner with his CBC sidekick, Ron McLean. Now, McLean was actually in St. John's, in St. John's, Newfoundland, for Rogers' hometown hockey. And he mentioned during the segment how he had eaten a seal burger for lunch that day. Now, the seal burger was prepared by Chef Todd Perrin of Mallard Cottage in Kittyvitty Village, East End St. John's, one of our finest restaurants, Mr. Speaker, and we have some of the best, some of the finest restaurants in Canada. Now, Mr. Speaker, Don Cherry's immediate reaction to the mention of a seal burger was disdain, was disgust. That's what I saw in his face, Mr. Speaker. Imagine eating a baby seal, Cherry said, before questioning whether McLean is a savage or a barbarian. Now, Mr. Speaker, it was hard to tell whether Don Cherry was serious or whether he was just ribbing uh, McLean, which is what they often do. But, Mr. Speaker, the immediate reaction in Newfoundland and Labrador to Don Cherry's comments was not a good one. To slight the seal hunt is to slight Newfoundland and Labrador, more so than any other slight. Newfie on down, Mr. Speaker. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians take any criticism of the seal hunt as a direct personal attack, not just against us, who we are as a people, but against our forefathers and our very outport souls. To attack the seal hunt, Mr. Speaker, is to attack Newfoundland and Labrador. To attack the seal hunt, Mr. Speaker, is to poke the bear that is the fighting Newfoundlander. You don't, Mr. Speaker, you don't joke about the seal hunt. We're not ready for that yet, Mr. Speaker. The, the constant attacks on the hunt have left a wound that is still much too raw. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians are sensitive, and we're sensitive for good reason. Now, in the words of Bernie Halloran, He's the owner of a small outerwear shop in downtown St. John's that's been selling seal products for 30 years. What he says, he says this, sealing is the most bullied industry on the, on the planet. Now, Bernie Halloran said that in a letter. He said that in a letter that he wrote to Don Cherry. Sealing is the most bullied industry on the planet, Mr. Speaker. Don Cherry later issued what was more of a, a clarification than an apology. He said that he has no problem with people who hunt seals, and he has no problem with seal meat. Quote, I do, however, find it very unusual in my world that a person would go into a restaurant and order a seal burger for lunch. Now, that may be unusual to Don Cherry in Don Cherry's world, Mr. Speaker, to order a seal burger for lunch, but it's not unusual in my world. Flipper pie, Mr. Speaker, is a true Newfoundland and Labrador delicacy, and the best the best meat by far, Mr. Speaker, that I've, I've ever eaten is seal tenderloin, fried on a cast iron pan with butter, salt, and pepper, and left for 15 minutes. Heaven on a plate, Mr. Speaker. Heaven on a plate. Now, Don Cherry may know hockey, Mr. Speaker, but he doesn't know Newfoundland and Labrador. He doesn't know our people. He doesn't know our cultural industry. At what point, Mr. Speaker, did Don Cherry become soft? Now, to quote, to quote a constituent, go by Rock'em Sock'em 97, where grown men punch the face off each other for two hours. That's not barbaric, Mr. Speaker? Now, to quote another Newfoundlander, I wonder what the wings and ribs at Don Cherry's restaurant are made of. Now, that's not hypocritical, Mr. Speaker. Beef, chicken, seal, the sealing industry, Mr. Speaker, has been vilified. To once, ag to once again quote Bernie Halloran, owner of that seal shop in downtown St. John's, quote, my opinion, if sealing is wrong, the whole world is wrong. If sealing is wrong, the whole world is wrong. Which brings us to the bill before this House today, Mr. Speaker. Her Majesty's official opposition, the New Democratic Party of Canada, supports Bill C-555, the Seal Fishery Observation License. Mr. Speaker, this bill would increase 
the distance that an unofficial observer, a SEAL protester, uh, for example, must keep from sealing. Right now, right now, Mr. Speaker, it's against the law for an unofficial observer to come within a half a nautical mile of the hunt. This bill, Bill C-555, would increase that buffer zone to a full nautical mile, so it would increase from a half a nautical mile to a full nautical mile. Now, Mr. Speaker, when I spoke on this bill in March 2014, almost a year ago to the day, I call this bill a charade, Mr. Speaker. A charade, a charade to make it appear that this, that this Conservative government is actually doing something for the hunt for sealing. Now, this bill is a sham to make it appear that this government is defending the seal hunt. It's an illusion to make it appear that the government is a champion of the seal hunt. Mr. Speaker, changing the distance that unofficial seal hunt observers can approach the hunt from a half mile to a full nautical mile means absolutely nothing when the half mile zone that's there now is not enforced. Now, sealers on the ground in my province of Newfoundland and Labrador, Mr. Speaker, they say that this is a good idea, but they don't see how it would change anything. Mr. Speaker, the East Coast seal hunt has seen the East Coast seal hunt has seen the biggest collapse of seal markets in its history under this Conservative government. Now, that is a fact, Mr. Speaker. Russia, Kazakhstan, Belarus, Taiwan. The European Union have, and, and, and all its member countries have banned the importation of Canadian seal products, while this Conservative government has sat idly by touting its undying support for all the good that it's done, Mr. Speaker. The anti-seal hunt groups have been very effective, incredibly effective in, pa in pounding our industry, Mr. Speaker. Now, I recently traveled to Taiwan with a parliamentary delegation. I was curious to ask the Taiwanese firsthand why they banned Canadian seal products in 2013, because that's the way it was sold over here, Mr. Speaker. Yet another country is lined up against the Canadian seal hunt. But, Mr. Speaker, you'll find this interesting. What I learned was that the Taiwanese ban on the export or sale of marine mammal products had solely to do with Japanese whaling and the Japanese dolphin hunt. It had nothing to do with Canadian seal products. The seal hunt is not an issue in Taiwan, Mr. Speaker. This is a country where people eat barbecued squid on a stick. Taiwan and Asian countries like it are seafood meccas, Mr. Speaker. Now, this conservative government, this conservative government has to do more to educate people around the world about our sustainable and humane seal hunt. This government is not doing enough, Mr. Speaker, to spread the word. The Taiwanese, quote, Greenpeace and, and the International Fund for Animal Welfare as gospel as the last word on the seal hunt, Mr. Speaker, when they shouldn't be quoted at all. Now, Mr. Speaker, to wrap up, my party supports this bill on extending the seal fishery observation license, but it won't change a thing with the hunt, Mr. Speaker. It won't reopen closed markets. It won't lift the ban on seal products in so many countries around the world. This bill won't stop people like Don Cherry from describing those who eat seal burgers as barbarians or savages. Now, joking or not, such comments do nothing to promote our sealing industry. The comments, Mr. Speaker, the comments sting. Now, Mr. Speaker, I just attended the 10-day Mount Pearl Frosty Festival in my riding of St. John's South Mount Pearl. Now, Mount Pearl is a city alongside St. John's, a city that I describe as a landlocked outport. People there are first, second, or third generation Bayman. Now, Bayman means that they come from rural Newfoundland and Labrador, meaning, Mr. Speaker, that sealing is in their blood. And, Mr. Speaker, the seal fashion that I took in during the Frosty Festival, the seal boots, the seal jackets, the seal coats, mostly on the women, Mr. Speaker, it was absolutely lovely. Now, besides sending a note to Don Cherry, Bernie Halloran of St. John's mailed him three seal ties, Mr. Speaker. Bernie Halloran of St. John's mailed Don Cherry three seal ties, including, including Mr. Speaker, a blue one in memory of, of Cherry's Lake Dog Blue. How nice was that, Mr. Speaker? That's who we are. 
The best thing that could happen to the seal hunt is if someone like Don Cherry, someone like Don Cherry, with his unique fashion sense, embraced our industry, embraced our fine fashion sense, and melded it with his own. Don Cherry, Mr. Speaker, in a sealskin jacket and tie. Two minutes for looking so good. Whoa.